The third type of tissue in the human body we'll discuss is neural tissue, including the neurons as well as the neuroglia. Neural tissue is composed of neurons or nerve cells and the neuroglia, which protect and support the neural tissue. Neuroglia are found in the central and peripheral nervous systems, and the neuroglia include the following cells, astrocytes, which are the most abundant type. They regulate the external environment around the neurons. Oligodendrocytes wrap around the axon of a neuron in a process called myelination. Epididymal cells and microglia. Neurons are cells that convert stimuli into electrical impulses and neuroglia are the supportive cells. There are three types of neurons in the human body. Motor neurons, interneurons, and sensory neurons. Motor neurons carry impulses from the central nervous system to muscles and glands in the peripheral nervous system. Interneurons carry impulses from sensory neurons to motor neurons. And sensory neurons. These sense stimuli in the external environment and transmit this information in the form of impulses back to the central nervous system. The following image depicts the major structures of a neuron. There's a nucleus which contains a nucleolus, and the nucleus is in the cell body or soma, and this is usually attached to branching dendrites and an axon. The dendrites receive incoming impulses from either other neurons or the cell body. The axon transmits neural impulses from the soma to the synaptic terminals. Myelin produced by glial cells speeds up impulse propagation. Here's another clinical challenge exam question. A 35-year-old male is diagnosed with a neurological disorder in which the astrocytes in the brain are non-functional. Based on general information about neural tissue, which of the following statements is correct? A. The disorder affects glial cells. B. The disorder will have no effect on the actual neurons in the patient's brain. C. The patient will have abnormal myelination as a result of defective astrocytes. D. A, B, and C are correct. Or E. Only answer C is correct. Here's the answer to the question. This question tests your knowledge of the different cell types in neural tissue and their specific functions. The correct answer for this question was A. The disorder affects glial cells. Although myelination is performed by neuroglia cells, it's actually performed by oligodendrocytes, not astrocytes. Neuroglia cells are found in the central nervous system and the peripheral nervous system. In the CNS, there are astrocytes, oligodendrocytes, and ependymal cells. Astrocytes are the most abundant. They regulate the external environment of the neurons to ensure ions are at correct levels. They recycle proteins, and they've been called the building blocks of the blood-brain barrier. Oligodendrocytes wrap around the axons of neurons and produce myelination. Ependymal cells line the cavities of the central nervous system and regulate cerebrospinal fluid. Microglia is specialized macrophages that protect neurons in the central nervous system. In the peripheral nervous system, cells which myelinate neurons are called Schwann cells, and supporting cells in the ganglia are called satellite cells. The following is a clinical note on a glial tumor known as an astrocytoma. This brain tumor is characterized as a glioma. It does not typically metastasize to other regions of the body, but because of the widespread location of astrocytes throughout the brain, Astrocytomas can occur in various regions in the central nervous system. These tumors cause an increase in intracranial pressure. This leads to many possible symptoms that stem from this problem, including vomiting without nausea, an altered level of consciousness, and visual disturbances. These tumors are diagnosed based on symptoms and imaging such as a CT and MRI, as well as a biopsy. 
the primary treatment is surgery to remove the tumor if possible. And to reduce the swelling and intracranial pressure, corticosteroid medications can be used.